Um, the sounds of a piano are calming and inspiring, but to one Arcadia woman, they can be triggering. Then suddenly I hear shooting sound. Literally triggering. Suddenly. A nurse is behind bars for discharging a firearm inside her Arcadia apartment, but she's being held without bail, even though she has no criminal record. I would assume where Rob Hayes is looking into her case and spoke with her neighbor who says that she almost got hit by gunfire. Bullet. Just when I saw, saw the hole and I was, I, I, I just realized, oh, it's a real gunshot. So, so I called police immediately and take photo. Pinsine Lean has been giving piano lessons in her Arcadia apartment for nearly three years. But she says when Catherine Pugh moved into the apartment above her last year, she started complaining about all the noise. It all came to a point on Monday when Lean was getting ready for her next lesson. A bullet came flying through the ceiling, barely missing her as she scooted her piano bench in. We think inches. And that wasn't the only shot fired earlier in the afternoon. When Lean was making lunch, she heard a loud bang. She thought Pew had slammed a door, but it turned out it was the first of four gunshots from Pew's apartment. <laughs> Lean says she was saved by her rice cooker. The rice cooker was, you know, just right below mm -hmm. the, the bullet hole. See for yourself the angle of that hole and where Lean was at the sink. She's convinced Pew wasn't randomly shooting into the floor. She listened to my noise. And Two other bullet holes can be seen, one in Pew's window, the other in the wall of her apartment. Police say those rounds hit two other units, but no one was hurt. So we found a uh, intoxicated female in possession of two guns. We discovered she shot two rounds through a downstairs apartment unit, and she was uh, exhibiting signs and symptoms of being of being drunk. But it doesn't look like Pew is going to be released anytime soon. Even though bail was initially set at two hundred fifty thousand dollars, the judge did something rare. He deemed her to be a danger to the community and ordered her to be held without bail. To us, that's absolutely tragic. Carla Sarabia is Pew's public defender. She was stunned to hear Pew wouldn't be able to post bail, something usually reserved for the most severe cases. Pew, a registered nurse at Huntington Hospital who won a nursing award in 2019, has no criminal record, but could be in for a long stretch in jail. Conceivably until she goes to trial. And so that could take months. And in a serious case like this with the allegations, maybe even longer. And she's going to lose her job. She's going to lose her apartment. She's going to lose her livelihood. Eyewitness News reached out to the judge in this case, but he declined to comment. Pew's mother says her daughter does not belong behind bars. She has no priors. She's a responsible person. She went to Berkeley. She got a scholarship. She got a 4.0. She is one of the best people I think ever put on this earth. But Lean does not like the idea of Pew returning to the apartment above her. I, I, I'm afraid if she were revenge. In Arcadia, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Decorated L.A. nurse accused of getting drunk, shooting into neighbor's Sunset Boulevard apartment during dispute. Catherine Pew, 39, is accused of shooting her handgun into a neighbor's apartment. A decorated California nurse is behind bars this week after allegedly firing her handgun into a neighbor's Sunset Boulevard apartment while intoxicated a Monday afternoon, according to authorities. Catherine Pugh, a 39-year-old registered nurse who was honored in 2019 with a Daisy Award at Huntington Health in Arcadia, allegedly had too much to drink and perforated her apartment amid a feud with her downstairs neighbor, police said. Police say the woman in the apartment below Pugh's called 911 to report the sound of a gunshot and an apparent bullet hole in her ceiling around 3.49 p.m. on Monday. Arcadia police officers arrived and allegedly found Pew intoxicated and in possession of two handguns. She had legally registered both weapons, police told Fox News Digital, and they said they had no previous documented interactions with her. It appears both the victim and suspect have an ongoing dispute over apartment-related issues, police said in a statement. Police alleged she fired three rounds in total through a floor and an exterior wall. It appears they were fired intentionally, police told Fox News Digital Ethers Day. Pew faces a felony charge of discharging a firearm at an inhabited dwelling. There were no reported injuries in the incident. Her bail was initially $250,000, but a judge ordered her held without bail at her arraignment this week, despite a lack of prior criminal history. A Los Angeles District Attorney George Gaskin's office, which has defended low or no bail for repeat violent offenders, said the bail had been increased due to the court's concern for public safety.
In March, Gaskin's office revised a policy barring his deputy district attorneys from seeking cash bail, something he had wanted to eliminate altogether. The district attorney remains firmly committed to the core principles that the voters of Los Angeles embraced, including the goals of eliminating cash bail and maximizing pretrial release within the bounds of public safety, Gaskin's office told Fox News Digital at the time. Throughout the past 18 months, we have identified some gaps in our existing system of pretrial supervision that require slight adjustments to the manner in which we pursue those goals. For individuals who pose an exceptional risk to public safety, including those who have committed additional crimes while on pretrial release, the office may request bail under a narrowly tailored set of circumstances. The hospital's DAISY Award recognizes excellence in clinical skills, caring and compassion. A spokesperson for the institution did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Pugh is due back in court on August 16. Fox News' Louis Cassiano contributed to this report.